In my time at WBZ Radio, I've interviewed Red Sox players after the World Series. I've interviewed flood victims and politicians and even a couple celebrities. I've never interviewed anyone like Giovanna from Philadelphia. This past weekend, Boston Anime came to the Heinz Convention Center and around 10,000 people spent three days buying, swapping, learning about anime, the cartoons, and manga, the Japanese comic book, which are really graphic novels. They're not like the ones you grew up with as a kid. The heroes don't always win, and they're rather complex tales. You may have friends or sons and daughters who enjoy anime, but these are the hardcore fans. They dress it, they live it, and they even sing it at anime karaoke bars. Interestingly, the Japanese consulate was also at the convention, and they said that anime, a very unique Japanese art form, got its inspiration from American TV of the 1950s, and from American artists like Walt Disney. But why is there an ever-growing following in the U.S., and why take it to this level? Well, that brings us back to Giovanna. What made you take the step to want to come to a convention, put on the, make the costume, put on the makeup, and take this step? It's called obsession. Yeah, um, you play something, you're like, oh my God, that's awesome, and you're like, I'm going to take it to the next level, and be, you know, and all that jazz, so. How did anime become this popular? I mean, I mean, 10 years ago you didn't see this kind of growth. Um, probably because of like Cartoon Network and stuff like that. They bring a lot of Japanese cartoons and dub them and all that. So, you know, I think that's probably why. When I was a kid, it only used to come on um, like Sci-Fi Channel like once a week or whatever. So, and, and now I just watch like, like the straight Japanese like with the language and all, you know. And it, I know I download it, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Now do, now, like, do other people know that you, how do you explain to people that this is something you enjoy doing? I'm sure they look at it and think it's a little well, out of, I, offbeat. Yeah, I work in a hospital and I show them pictures all the time and they think I'm crazy, but, you know, they keep coming back for more and they want to see more pictures. And <laughs> These photos may not be the ones you want to show people as you're about to stick them with I a needle. Am. I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? I'm like, look what I do on the weekends. <laughs> I oh. swear to God. <laughs> um... Where, where, how much more can this grow? That's a good question. Um, I mean, the there's actually more and more conventions like that in, in major cities and all. So we'll see it from there. You know, there's going to be a lot more conventions and stuff. So get familiar with Naruto and Full Metal Alchemist, and begin to understand that bleach isn't just for laundry. Japanese animation is going places Captain America never dreamed. In Boston, Mark Caddick, WBZ News Radio, 10:30.